Hi there, my name is Terry Smith. I'm the owner of Adorable Deco Decor, where we make and sell wreaths and other types of home decor. I also work toward teaching others to make their own designs through my wreath making group. And I have just got done. We were uh, in my uh, private group uh, doing a live video, working on uh, this little sweet thing here. And um, I got to thinking, how many people, you know, as always fixing this bow here, I got to think of how many times I get asked about um, how to fix a bow or um, people telling me that they can't make a bow and nine times out of ten I can hone in and I can fix their problem just like that but I'm going to show you that tip here shortly so let me get my phone going so I can see everybody's comments as they come in this was kind of a spur of the moment like I said I just got done going live in our group with that but um, I just as I said I just on a whim I thought let's do this and uh, I don't know I've got all kinds of things popping up here on my screen but not what I want to see hey Robin how are you and there's Era and Marilyn hello hello there's Lois okay this is just gonna be a real short quick video like I said I've had I've I, I really it saddens me to to know that so many people get frustrated with bow making because it's really it's there's a learning curve so there's that but everybody can do it okay but I'm going to show you something I think that most people will benefit from a lot but look at this bow here what do you think about that would you be throwing that in the trash I wouldn't and uh, that's what made me start thinking about this tonight as I was tidying up my workspace I found this bow and actually I made it on one of our bow videos back several weeks ago and I never got it listed and I found it on found it back behind my desk um, on the floor like this we're gonna make this brand new okay hey Wendy hey Lucy how are you guys all right so it gets down to this you know, when I hear somebody say they can't make a bow most times it's because you're not number one we're not patient and number two we're not fluffing it right okay or fluffing it enough okay I'm gonna show you how I fluff a bow okay I'm gonna take this I'm gonna make it like it's brand new um, let me drop you guys down hey Julie how are you and there's Linda Opal Thank you guys for being here. I said this is completely spur of the moment, so I didn't know if anybody would be available or not. First thing that is very helpful for you to do if you're trying to fluff a bow is to find a solid surface or something that you can attach the bow to. Um, this is my fluff box that I've got um, that has, it has a little eye hook here and then a little nail that I'm just going to wrap. Um, well, that's not quite long enough, but I'm just going to wrap this right here around this eye hook just so I can have both my hands free. Now, you don't have to be able to have both your hands, but it's very helpful, okay? If you don't have something like this, you can connect what can attach your bow to. If you got a grapevine wreath, you know, just attach it to that. If you got a clothes hanger, you could hang it on their doorknob and attach it to that. Just something where you've got your hands free, okay? What I do, I start on the bottom layer, okay? And I just start straightening things out. Now, depending on how long this has been wadded up, I might have to take a flat iron to it or a steamer. You always want to test your ribbon first if you're going to do that, though, because the heat sometimes can damage the ribbon, okay? Um, this one is a satin. It doesn't have any glitter on it or anything. I would likely be able to flat iron this or, or as I said, use a steamer. But let's start out with find our, find our tails. I like for my tails to go opposite directions. Like I got one tail down here, I like to have another tail coming out up here. Okay, I'm gonna get those all flattened out. All right, I don't even remember how many loops I had on this of what. So I'm gonna find this other loop. Now, what I'm doing, I hope you guys can see, let me bring you forward just a little bit right over the top. Okay. Um, 
a lot of people I'll see trying to fluff their bows just doing like this, drain it straight out or just tugging on it. That'll help, but it's not going to get the nice full loops, okay? What I do, I take my hand and I put my whole hand in here, well, I'll accept, accept my thumbs, and all I'm going to do, I'm just going to open my fingers like this, okay? Both sides, okay? Just take that and open up your fingers. And you can kind of round it out if you need to, okay? Do the same thing over here. Okay, just open up those fingers. All right, now let's go up to the next layer. I believe it's this um, candy ribbon here. We're gonna find our tail. And, and there, you know, I told you I'd put my tails opposite each other, more or less, okay? And you'll have to go back. You'll have to keep going back to the same place, okay? So don't get frustrated. But I try to put my tails opposite, loops opposite. I've got my tail over here. Let's straighten that out. Find my other tail over here. Let's straighten that out. All right, now the loops. I don't know how many loops I've got of this. It looks like I've got the same number. So let's move this over a little bit. And again, I'm just going to put my fingers in there and just open my fingers. Okay, and you may have to come back to the same loop more multiple times. Okay, to don't get frustrated. Don't, don't get impatient. Okay, just opening, opening my fingers. That's all I'm doing. Okay, all right. Let's go up another layer. Looks like we've got this satin ribbon here. This beautiful emerald green. Get our tails. Now let's find our loops. Straighten them out. Open them up. Find my other one, open it up, okay? Uh, now we got this one, go up there. Where's the other one? Got another tail I'm missing. Oh, it looks like it's over here. Okay, and like I said, you may have to go back to the same loop multiple times. Each time it should get a little better though, okay? All right, let's open these guys up. Come over here, same thing, open it up, open up those fingers, straighten this, look how this is coming to life, and you saw how that started like, okay, fingers in there, open them up, straighten this out, alright, and I'm just going from the bottom layer on up. Now some, you know, bow loops like this, obviously, you're not going to be able to get all your fingers in there. But just do what you can. Oh, Kathy, would you like to see this, this type of bow made? Yeah, we made this bow actually a few weeks ago on my Pro Bow, on my Tuesday bow making. But we can do another... I love my Pro Bow, I have to say. I mean, there is a learning curve to them. But I love my Pro Bow. It just makes beautiful bows. But see how you saw what this bow started like, okay? And I'm still going to go around here. Before I would photograph this, I'm still going to be fussing it, you know, getting all my loops and all my tails arranged. Every time I touch one, I'm probably going to have to go back and touch another one. But as I said, um, I think most people get frustrated because they're just not taking their time and fluffing the bow properly, properly or long enough, okay? All right, so anybody have any questions? Um, actually, uh, Beth, I've got a, um, a, a link for Pro Bow on this site right here I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna pin it in the comments. I forgot to do that. I should have before I started. But if you go to shopliketerry.com, There's a link there for a Pro Bows. Shop like Terry with a, oops, Terry just has one R. There we go. Oh, almost.
and I'll pin this comment here in case anybody's interested. I um, love my Pro Bow. I, I make bows by hand. I make bows um, using the Easy Bow Maker, and I also use it the um, Pro Bow. I can't get this to pin. There we go. Okay, I just pinned that link there, um, Beth, but I've got a, a link on that site that'll take you to where you can purchase a Pro Bow. And you don't need the ultimate. I'm going to raise up my uh, camera here so I can talk to you, but you do not need the uh, ultimate. You just need the, the large. It makes plenty of uh, large bows. Um, the ultimate is for like car size bows or something like that. You don't need that. Just the large size is all you need. This is what this is what it looks like. But like I said, I make I use the Pro Bow and Easy Bow Maker and my hand, just depending. But if you've watched any of my videos when I've handmade my bow, you know what they look like when I get done with them. They don't look like anything. And then I get up there and I take my time, I fluff them out, and then then they look then they look like this. <laughs> okay? All right. Um Oh, thank you, Patricia. Thank you. I hope it I hope it helps. Um and you know, we make bows every Tuesday, barring anything unforeseen, every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern time on this page right here. Uh, and I use a variety of methods. Like I said, I use the Easy Bow Maker, I use the Pro Bow, and also make bows by hand. And we go through those. And I, and and more than that, I teach how to match bows, how I how I select ribbon to make bows, and that kind of thing. We talk all kinds of things about ribbon and bows. So, can you make this on the Easy Bow Maker? You can. I think it's more difficult to though. Um, I love the Easy Bow Maker, don't get me wrong, but to, for me, it's harder for me to get my bow loops exactly even, and I, I use the Pro Bow, like if I get, get an order where I've got to make bows consistently the same size, I always use my Pro Bow. Like when I list a, a, a multiple um, listing bow on my Etsy shop where I've got to make them the same over and over and over. I always use my Pro Bow. Um, it's just it's just more consistent, and I just I like the way they look. I like I like a nice rounded bow. Now, like I said, there is a learning curve with the Pro Bow, and you got to be patient. It took me all of three days of consistently practicing, but all of a sudden it clicked. Now I can do it almost with my eyes closed. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, thank you, Phoebe. <laughs> thank you. That's sweet of you to say. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Amelia. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay. All right. Anybody else have any other questions? Like I said, I just wanted to pop on here. I had that smash bow. I wanted to show you what we can do with it. Don't give up on your bows. You can do it. I know you can. <laughs> so, okay. All right, that's all I have for you tonight. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And like I said, if you want to learn to make bows every Tuesday here on this page at 1 o'clock Eastern Time, we make bows. Okay? All right. All right. You guys have a great night. Stay safe, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.